Welcome to another video from Mr. Long's Teacher Tips. And this is part one of some Google tricks that you might not be aware of that are available in Google. So you can maybe use this in the classroom. So let's have a look at some of these tricks that we can learn. The first one's the calculator. If you want to access Google's built-in calculator, you all you have to do is type in the word calculator, or you can just type in a sum. Actually, you can just go straight away. I need to find out what 150 is divided by 89 and you just type it in and it will bring up the calculator for you that you can access and then you can carry on doing your calculations here or the other option if you you can go straight to the calculator by just typing in the word calculator and it'll take it to you there the other option that you would have noticed there is that it actually has a graph feature as well so you can actually graph and just put in the graph formula and it'll actually show you the graph imagine that when we were at school we didn't have this but now we can just type in graph and you can give it any type of so we can do, give it a 2x to the power you can use the the shift 6 to get to the power of 2 uh, minus 4 times x let's times x minus 3 i'm just making up some numbers here let's see what we've got here i think we don't even need the times you can just put it in like that so there we go 2x to the power of 2 minus 4x minus 3 and let's see there's the graph so we can see the graph there you can make it a bit smaller you can go in a bit more and see that's the parabola sign so there we go or you can also do trig functions so i can type in like two uh, cos x minus 0.5 um, and so it will give you the cos graph for two times cos x minus a half so there we go so you've got those features available to you so some nice mathematical options available the next trick we're going to learn are the conversions Now, there's lots of ways that we can do some general conversions now the first one is we can just type in unit converter or you can just type in what you want to convert and to what the next value is so let's go see how we can do that in google so i can say what is three kilograms in pounds i think you can even say two pounds i think it doesn't actually matter which one you use and it will bring out the unit converter so there it tells me that three kilograms is 6.6 .6 pounds and it gives me the nice formula and then you can see over here we got all these options available so you can do all these different options you can go to temperature it gives you all the different things that you can convert convert from celsius or come on kelvin to fahrenheit so you got all these lovely little options there for all the different types of conversions that you want to do or as we said before you can just type in unit converter and it'll take you straight to that where you can choose which option you want so there we go even like data storage like how many gigabytes and bytes and so on so that's the one converter the other one is the currency converter you can just type in currency converter or you just type in the value and the currency to currency option so for example we can go okay in google i want to go i want to find out how much 20 dollars is in pounds and then it'll tell me that 20 United States dollars equals to 14.52 pounds. Tells me how it's been going with regard to the last couple of days, with regard to the currency, like the, the exchange rate, and so on. And you can change them over here if you want to change it to other currencies and so on. Or as we said, you can just type in the currency, currency converter, if you spell it correctly. Currency converter, or not converter, converter, there we go. And then you can go from there you can try in your different options and so on so those are the currency converters and the last trick we're going to learn today is the world time how to kind of find out what the time is in another city there's two ways you can either type in the time in city or you can if you want to convert a particular time you can say city to city time so those are your two options um so let's go have a look so i can type i want to find out what the time is in london at the moment and at the moment it's 21 or it's, it's nine o'clock it's eight past nine there in london or if i want to say what okay so the time if you remember the trick it is city to city time so we're gonna go okay so we're gonna say johannesburg if i spell it correctly to seattle time and then it'll give me a little breakdown what the current time is in south africa and what the current time is in Seattle at this particular point. So those are some nice little tricks that you've learned in Google. Um, I've made another document which has a summary of these tricks. I will make, put a link to it in the description that you can download. You can print and put it in your classroom if you want or give it to other people. So this is this first page uh, covers all the tricks we've learned today. 
Um, the next page will be our second part of the video. Um, so go watch that video so you can see what the other tricks you can learn. But download this, this document and hopefully it can be useful to you. Part two of the Google tricks will be coming soon. But in the meantime, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.